Welcome back to SA Live. Yes, that is a possum. Possum or opossum? You this know the difference, right? This one would be the opossum. Right? He is not <laughs> from right. Australia. Oh, That's look right. at you. That's Robert right. Trejo from Zoom Imaginations <laughs> here today to share some of his new friends. Who did you bring today? Because we've got two of them right here. Oh, yes. Well, this one that you're holding, he is a bearded dragon. His ah. name is Thor. Oh. And he's an adult. Yes, he's a full-grown male bearded dragon. They're from Australia, and they this is like the Australia's version of the horned lizard. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of they get their name because they have a head that looks like a dragon, but they also have the ability to uh, the color of their scales under their chin will actually turn black, and it looks like a beard, and that's oh, why they're called bearded underneath. dragon. Oh, yeah. And they do that when that. they're excited. Well, yeah. those are kind of tough little spikes, so that's a defensive thing right there. Right, the yeah, it's kind of like armor plating. They can also turn flat like a frisbee. So the flatter they get, the more the spikes stick out. They're more rigid and it's hard to pick up, and it also helps them blend into the sand. Very sandy environment, so. What does that guy eat? He eats uh, a little bit of everything. He's got insects, uh, smaller reptiles, even small rodents, but he can also eat vegetation. Okay. So crickets and grasshoppers are kind of his, one of his favorite diets. Oh, now, he seems like he can move pretty quick. Oh, yes, they are very fast. They can run about 18 to 20 miles per hour. What? Yeah, and they, can also, run, yeah, and they can also run on two legs, too. If oh. they choose to, yeah. Oh, they're running a full are they the ones that, that run, that run that's on the, the videos that you right, see? Right, that's one of the species, yeah. Oh, that's one of the species. <laughs> look at you, Ghost Speed Racer. Oh, yeah, he looks, okay. yeah, he looks a lot like a dinosaur, too. Okay. Yeah. A little bit slower, maybe somewhat oh, yeah. cuter. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this is this Poppy. Guy. Poppy the Poppy possum. is our possum, yeah. She was actually brought to us by Texas Parks and Wildlife when she was a baby. She was found on the side of the road in Waco, Texas with her brothers and sisters. So then they had to uh, rescue and rehabilitate her, and then um, that's why we've got her. So, mm -hmm. you know, she just needed a little bit of attention there. And possums are a very misunderstood animal. They are such a neat animal. They are native species. They are designed to eat ticks. Okay. And that is what they do for us. They help us by eating ticks. So therefore, it is good to have in your backyard, even yeah. though Even if you come across one, yes. The thing is, you don't want to encounter them because they can bite. Right. And contrary to popular belief, they don't carry rabies. They can't, they're immune to the, uh, the rabies virus. So and aren't they immune to snake venom too? Yeah, a lot of it is because okay. of their body temperature. They can actually drop their body temperature so it doesn't survive in their body. Prehensile tail and? And no. they have opposable thumbs on their back feet. Oh, they do? Yeah, and that oh, way, so they can hang on to tree branches and stuff like that. So it's just a very neat animal. They're very misunderstood, but the thing is that people encounter them in their, in, in their backyards, but they also have 50 teeth in their mouth. They have more teeth in their mouth than any other mammal. Oh. And they are also marsupials, so they are related to the kangaroo. A lot of people think they're in the rodent family, but right, right. they are. Right, right, because they think, oh, okay. this looks like a really yeah. big rat. They were raised in a pouch. Okay, so. what else do we have? Do we're going to pull, right. pull, we're gonna pull the table, table out, right out there. Now and All right, and then we're going to bring out some other. I've got him. dragon going I've there. Got oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got him. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Next, we well, Madeline's going to bring out the, there we go, okay. Babies. <laughs> yeah, we've got our little babies there. We're going to stand over here real quick. So we're going to have bottles. There you go. They're going to come right out to you. Oh, my God. Oh you got, wait, wait, they're taking a lap. They want to see who's in the room. There oh, here we go. go. Oh, my God. Oh, oh hi. Here, hi. let's turn you this way so you can be seen. There you go. Hi. These are baby warthogs. Look. They were born on Cinco de Mayo, 5th of May, oh and they God. came from the Columbus Zoo in Columbus, Ohio. Oh. Okay. And right now they are still uh, drinking a little bit of milk, but they're also adapting to, uh, you know, eating grass and they're, you know, kind of a staple diet there. And they, uh, when that thing bumped into me, he's, he's got a hard head. He does. Yeah, it's all bone. It's a solid bone. That's what they used to dig up the ground to dig up for roots. Uh, you know, as you can see, some people who encounter wild hogs, they, how they tear up the ground. Warthogs are no different. Okay. Yeah, these are Africa's huh. largest wild pig. Okay. And how big will he? That he will bigger? be about 300 pounds. 300 pounds. 300 pounds. And yes. some big old tusks. Big old too. tusks. Yes. yes. Oh, right now they no. are defenseless mm -hmm. uh, at this age, but they can run very fast. They can actually outrun all of us. Uh, they're designed oh, for speed. Be... They're designed for speed because of their long legs. But uh -huh. as they get older, well, they can run about 35 miles per hour. Wow. Okay. That's very fast. An interesting animals. chassis built for yes. speed. <laughs> 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 Never would have thought that. And, and a couple of more creepy crawlies. Do we have, or is this a? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, we, had the, we had the snake in the Yeah, uh, in we had the, the snake. That's so. right, that's right. right. Uh, and, but now, warthogs are a really neat animal. It, the, the reason why they're called warthogs is not because they have warts, it's because of the bumps on the side of their head. You can kind of see on there. Oh, yeah, you got right these little there. bumps. Uh -huh. The males yeah. have two on each side. The females only have one on each side. That's, that's one way you can tell the, uh, the difference between a male and a female there. And they have to get down on their knees to, to root around, right? Right, correct. As they get, as, you know, they have long legs. They actually get down on the ground to root to ground oh, to dig it up. Yeah. 
And that's right. kind of what they're designed to. <laughs> and if people want to see these. Yeah, we actually, they want to, you know, we, we do offer school presentations and programs, and that's part of our program there, that we do outreach. Okay. Out so you'll be able to meet Golly. them, too, as they get older and older. Well, if well you thank had, you so much. Yeah, more information on Zoom Imagination, of course, go to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And their names are again. Oh, this is Bruce and Gibbs. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Robert, thank you, man. Thank you very much. My pleasure.